Hey guys, so it's me, Kiani. Today's video, I'm going to answer one of you guys' most asked questions. How do I keep my mascara from smudging? How do I keep it from smearing? How do I keep it off my face and on my lashes? I'm going to answer this most asked question, so just continue to watch. To allow your lashes the maximum amount of length and volume, I'm going to suggest using a lash primer. This is a very important step. I'm going to, for the sake of this video, use my Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. It's a tinted, amplifying, and setting product. And the brush of this product is what makes it extremely unique. You guys have heard me talk about this before, but the brush is super tiny. So you can really grab that and apply product onto those lashes. It really does replicate mascara. However, it's going to allow you to maximize every lash that you have. And you notice I'm actually starting from the root and pulling out to the tip. You can add as many coats as you like. You can really do this process almost like you're applying mascara. But you're really going from root to tip. I'm not going to suggest doing the wiggling and pulling. But if that is your method, this would be the only time to do that. It's going to allow you to separate all your lashes and minimize the clump. It's also going to make your mascara more long wearing. And give your mascara something to bond onto, which is another key step. For those of you that have those tiny, tiny lashes underneath on the lower lash line that you forget about, this is an amazing product because you can really amplify those lashes up. And at the time that you're going to be applying mascara, you're going to have a guide because you will automatically be able to see those lashes that you're trying to grasp. Next, I've seen literally hundreds of people in the past couple weeks that have bought the wrong mascara that really ask me, how do I minimize the smudging? My main suggestion is don't put too much mascara on. When you grab these amazing volubilizing mascaras that really promise you all this length and volume, you have to remember what lashes you're starting with. If your lashes are short and stuffy, there is nowhere for that volumizing thick mascara to go. So what you end up having is a glump of mascara on your lash and when you try to execute it out, it ends up going everywhere because most volumizing mascaras are going to have an amazing wand. I mean, literally, that is way too much for most people. And then when you clean this wand off, when I just spin it, look how much product comes off. This is really enough for about 20 people in the makeup world. So I'm going to suggest even if you don't roll it out on your hand the way I just did, clean off the wand. If you insist on buying whatever formula that is, Estee Lauder, L'Oreal, MAC, whatever formula it is, clean your brush off. You only need a little bit and you're going to get that exact same amount of application, but you're not going to have the mess. Look at that. We're going to grab just a little bit more of this and spin my brush in it. I'm going to have all the mascara a girl could need. So that's my tip. Clean your brush off before you apply it. I'm definitely going to suggest that you probably change your formula. Buy you a mascara that's not going to be as thick. However, if you're using a lash primer, look at how easy it's going to be for you to see and execute that mascara wand on those little lashes that you forgot about. Genius, right? genius not to mention completing this technique properly if you want to apply lashes it gives you a really nice anchor to apply them to and there you have another quick tip from me on how not to smear your mascara and how to keep your mascara from being transferred onto its lid as well as your face you're welcome for further suggestions on how to keep your makeup off your face and on your lashes, remember to also go to makeupbykiani.blogspot. There's a full blog there waiting for you guys to give you more details, products that I suggest, and you know, some other girl tips on this all forsaken problem. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram at love underscore Kiani to receive daily beauty tips, as well as if you have not subscribed to my channel, Click the link in the down bar. It's free. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.